Today we're going to be comparing the features and uh, quality of these two strobe lights, particularly the lens styles. This is a one watt LED with uh, reflectors and lens, uh, lenses on it. This one over here is a newer technology. This is the Cobb LEDs. So it's a strip. And it's got a little magnifying lens in the front. All right, so let's compare the features. The one on the left, uh, by the way, these are both amber and white combinations. So the one on the left has eight patterns and there's a total of 24 watts. The one on the right has 19 patterns, including a, a, a mode which cycles through patterns, which doesn't do all of them. I believe it does about six. Um, I'll show you that first. The uh, magnets on this one on the right are at least five times stronger than these. I can take this off the vehicle um, easily with one hand. This, I need two hands and I have to pull really hard. I think this would stay on the vehicle at least 70 miles an hour. I think this would blow off after maybe 40. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on the one on the right, which is the Cobb LEDs. And I have a set to the setting that does the uh, <clears throat> multiple patterns automatically. So we'll turn that on and you'll see uh, how many it actually goes through. I do like how uh, it goes faster. It goes from slow to a fast speed on most some of these patterns. You can see right there it went a little bit faster. Right, I think that's all of them for the automatic cycling. Let's go ahead and manually cycle through. I'm holding it up like this just so you can see both back and front. Steady on. I do like these uh, rotating patterns. You don't see that very often in uh, LED strobes.
This is a uh, just fading pattern. <clears throat> I'm not putting full amperage that these need. I'm running off of a power supply which is putting out 12 volt 6 amps. Um, so it's probably slightly under what they need. You'll see when I turn this one on, I can't go through any patterns for some reason. I'm assuming it's because of the low amperage. If you want, I don't, I don't see why they would use more than six amps, but apparently this one does to operate correctly because this would only stay on a uh, steady, steady uh, burn. If I hook it up into the uh, car, it works fine. Uh, this one seems to be working fine on the uh, lower amperage. I think yeah, we're back at the automatic patterns now. All right, so let's go ahead and turn the left one on, and you'll see. It may not show up well on camera, but in person, there is a major difference in brightness. This is much brighter. All right, I can't do anything. I can't change the patterns for some reason when it's on this power supply. But uh, let's see if I can zoom in on this. Maybe you can notice. If you notice the uh, how the lenses are, see they're not focused properly. So the brightest area is on the very outside of it. So it's, it's kind of a waste of light output. So yeah, it's not nearly as bright. Uh, you'll see in the video. I'm going to throw in some clips of uh, both of them running side by side at night and during the day. Let's zoom back out. So this one has eight patterns like I said. Can't show them to you right now. The output is much less. Magnets are weaker. Uh, between the two lights, I, I think it's like a 4 or $5 difference, so you're a lot better off one of those. I believe this is $40 on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description for both. Um, but I highly recommend this, just because of the, the brighter output the uh, and much stronger magnets. Okay, so let's go back to the other one real quick. But, I mean, this is just blinding in person. The amber is much dimmer than the white. I mean, I can look at the white without hurting, I mean, the uh, amber without hurting my eyes. Looking at the white, it's a little painful. I would, uh, I would have put these right up into the same category as linear strobes on the older uh, light bar styles. They're just as bright as a linear strobe. It's pretty impressive. When I first saw the uh, Cobb LEDs online for sale, I thought the output would be pretty weak, but I was quite wrong. Uh, I think you can find Cobb LEDs in uh, traffic advisors and, um, well, the newer style traffic advisors. And they have uh, individual pods with uh, brackets on the bottom that you can also buy. I believe they come in pairs. You can get the a bar with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think I believe up to eight, uh, which I, I plan on getting. I'll do a review later on when I get that, maybe a couple weeks. I haven't decided if I want to go all amber or amber and white on the uh, traffic advisor, but we'll see. But yeah, this one's made by Xbrite. Link in the description. Here's the... Uh, this is what comes with it. This one pretty much had no information. Uh, very poor instructions on the other one. But, I mean, it's pretty simple to operate. You just uh, plug it in, turn the power switch on, and uh, here's that two buttons. I'll show you that right here. On off switch here. And then this one is your momentary switch, which changes your patterns.
All right, let's take a look at those clips of the uh, daytime and nighttime shots side by side.